The ultimate AI extension is called Harpa, and the free version is awesome. This tool has been a part of my workflow for over a year, and I want to share it with you. This video is not going to be a full depth demo as Harpa has over 100 features. This will be a quick one to show you how I use the tool, cover some of the more advanced features, and discuss the upgrade pricing and if it's worth your hard earned dollar. Let's get right into it. In just a matter of seconds with Harpa AI, I can click one button and it tells me all the main stories. Sometimes there are going to be slight spelling mistakes. This should be Mistral, but that's a unique spelling. But the Claude 3 spelling is correct. The Mid Journey spelling is correct. We know the right stories. This is a really cool way to summarize my videos. And this is one of the first ways that I use Harpa AI. It saves me a huge amount of time. This is an eight minute video. I try to keep my News of the Week videos under 20 minutes, but you can get the answers in less than a minute and you can just jump to the sections that you think are most important part of the video. Not only does it give you time codes that are slightly different from the time codes I provide, it jumps you to where it thinks is the most useful part. This is great for a video that doesn't have time codes or for a longer video. I use this to parse news videos all the time when I'm looking at other stories. I want to see when they talk about a tool that I don't know about. Some news videos are 30 or 40 minutes long. It allows me to go through the entire video in two to three minutes. And this is just the main way I use Harpa. Inside the dashboard, it has categories like research, explain, reply, rewrite, compose, translate, mid journey, help, and all commands. You can see a list of them all right here. There are so many. I'll go through them as quickly as I can to give you a rough idea. These are to help you with emails. These are shortening articles like too long, did not read. Just give me a summary. Just searching. There's several different summary. YouTube summaries I want to use the most. Pulling data, extracting an RSS, creating a chart, translating. Connecting with Grammarly and correcting text very quickly. Pulling in a writing style. One of the really popular ways is for SEO. You can visit someone's website, read a blog post, and have this audit their SEO, extract the keywords you need for your article, figure out how to rank the article, generate a keyword report, give you a keyword strategy. All the things that you need to do for SEO are right here with these little arrows. Also does tons of cool things like writing clickbait, social media, giving you product benefits overview post, writing a Facebook ad. It will help you with all these different areas. If you want to repurpose a video, write a video script. I don't use every one of these features. There are so many. The main one I use is the summarizer. But some of the other cool features are that you can use it to track the price of a product. If I want to check every time a price changes, I can have it monitor that and then set the trigger to do anything from notify me to send a message to, through a webhook that causes an automation. I can do this to monitor a Facebook group. I can do this to monitor a YouTube channel as well. So whenever someone posts a video, I get notified that their channel has a new video. Especially powerful. I have an automation right now that every time someone posts a video on channels I follow, it has my automation sends a tweet out about them. So it's a great way for me to put content to my Twitter channel using a tool just like this. I do that using browse.ai. But this is very interesting. And to see what commands are available, you just hit slash and it'll pull up the entire list. Everything text adventure simulation, the tarot to help you planning a trip, coding assistant. Harpa AI is built on top of a bunch of other AIs. So right now it's connecting with my chat GBT. Every time I run a task, you'll see it appear right here. If I refresh, we'll see the new summarizing. What it's actually doing is sending messages to ChatGPT and pulling them back. It's not require the API connection. ChatGPT just changed their API to where you have to prepay, put five or ten dollars into your API account, and then you can run the API. If you don't want to do that, this bypasses all that. It just uses whether you have free or paid ChatGPT will pull right into that. Let me show you what it can do. And there are so many really cool use cases. The Chrome plugin, I use the free version. YouTube Summarize, of course, the most popular, but it can help you with writing long articles that are 25,000 words or long. You can pull in a style so that it writes emails and tweets in your style. It kind of saves data, spying on competitors, chat with PDF and websites, really great with SEO, tracking price drops, turning websites into APIs. So exactly what Browse.ai does, this is something I'm going to be using more and more. You can pull GPTs, all the GPTs from Cyber Staffing Agency that I've created, I can connect directly here. Very, very cool. Mid Journey Wizard. I'm using this tool more and more. It's something I installed over a year ago and have it played around with. So it helps with marketing, copywriting, productivity, 
HR, recruiting, development, spreadsheets. It has a lot of promises. It's the best AI tool. It's always over here connecting to every page I visit. So it's of all the plugins I've tried for Chrome, it's definitely my favorite. Let's look at pricing to see if it's worth the price. There's really two pricing models. If you're part of a team, if you're working with other people, then you need to be in the S tier, one, two, or three, which is 12, 20, or $45 a month. You're on your own, you're a solo person, $120 for a lifetime to add in a bunch of pro features. I am still on the paid, free version. It's not really clear why I would need to jump to the paid version, but the pricing is very fair. You know, this is $10 a month for a year, and you're covered for life. You never have to pay it again. This has been around for a long time. If you go monthly, you can see it's $15, $24, $50, $50 $55 a month. Some of the sales and pricing are complicated, and you can tell that because they have so much information on the page. It's just a little bit confusing because it goes, oh, no mega tokens, two mega tokens, four mega tokens. And then a mega token value is about 3,000 basic requests or 15 page aware requests on ChatGPT4. It's very confusing to me. And I think that's a problem. But what's good is you can see what you get in the free plan unlimited basic messages, you have an API key connection, under predefined commands, all the monitoring. The things that are limited are automations. When you look at difference between X and S tier, it's personal use, one time payment. And if you want to use advanced features, they don't clarify exactly what the advanced features are, but I don't see much of a use case where I would need to connect with other people. The only reason I would go to this level is if I'm using this for a lot of automation triggers and you don't get them with this tier, but I'm not sure about that. It's not clear. Going to the guides, this is where we see some really cool stuff. You could connect to ChatGPT or the Open AI API. Connecting to GPTs, this is very cool. No one else is doing this. You can use Claude, you can use Gemini, you can use Open Router. Harpa doesn't have an AI. It's a front end that connects and sends commands and prompts to other AIs. So you can choose which back end you want to use. I right now just use the basic chat GPT setup. I'll be setting up the GPTs next. It also can connect with perplexity, which isn't listed right here, but I was testing that earlier. This is a really important tool, chunking. When you have something that's too long to post into ChatGPT, it's, you have to break it into pieces. I normally use a separate website, but now you can break it into chunks and it will slice it apart and then you copy each one in to ChatGPT one by one and it allows you to give it a larger prompt. This is a huge time saver and a really powerful tool. There's so many features inside of Harpa that I can't cover all of them. I encourage you to check out their website, look at all the different things that they can do because there's no way I can cover all of them because there's just so many things that are really, really amazing. You can look at the list of AI commands as well. There's automation steps such as say, ask, GPT, navigate, wait, click, paste, scroll, request, extract, group, loop, jump, run JavaScript, command, clear, stop, calculate. It's so advanced and so powerful that it's hard for me to cover it. I would really have to do a two or three hour video, which obviously we don't want to do. This is meant to be a quick summary, but I want to show you a powerful tool that's really the main extension that I use when I'm working on the internet. This helps me with a lot of my projects, helps me to summarize videos, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. And you can do really amazing things encourage you to check this tool out. The, the free version is just so good. That's what I've been using for the past year. I am thinking about that one-time price upgrade because it's pretty legitimate to me just to get a little bit more power. But connecting with other tools is really useful and really powerful. I hope you enjoyed my quick summary of Harpa. I have a lot of extensions on my browser. I run so many projects. That bar gets crowded. I pair back and delete extensions after using them all the time. Harpa has had a prominent place on my browser tab for over a year. Does it deserve a spot on yours? Let me know in the comments. Do you like these quick summary videos? Do you want a more in-depth tutorial? Does this seem useful or like too much clutter? I appreciate you sticking with me. And if you found this video useful, please hit the like button. That helps my videos get pushed to more people and helps to grow this channel. If you hit the subscribe button, you'll see more of my videos in your feed. And if you hit the bell, you'll get notified every time I post a video. I do my very best to earn your click with each video and hopefully I've succeeded this time. I appreciate everyone who stays 
all the way to the end. I have a lot more cools to share with you, so I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching one of my videos. Hit the like button, and then I've got a couple of sweet videos that I think you're going to like. I've got one here and another one over here. You're going to love them.